Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I'm on the FANUC booth and there is yellow everywhere. And I got the most famous guy I know, my buddy Lou here at FANUC or at IMTS. We got machines on machines on machines to talk about, don't we, Lou? Yeah, we do. And uh, I really, really enjoy my time talking to Tony at IMTS. This particular IMTS, we're very, very excited. Um, as you can see, FANUC's booth's been revamped. We're showing incredible technology here. Um, my, pers my per, uh, perspective on FANUC's goals and objectives here are to make the best experience for our customers. Uh, we have an obligation, we want the best performance, the best success, we want our customers to uh, have nothing but uh, pure satisfaction with our products. So we're really, really excited. Uh, a few things about FANUC, you know, number one, our products, uh, the service and, and capabilities speak for themselves, but service for life, so that's really important on how we, how we apply and deploy our products. What we're gonna talk about first which I'm very excited to, to finally be able to, to highlight this. We've been talking about it and waiting for it for quite some time. This is our new uh, uh, 28 tool long bed uh, 500 uh, Y500 travel machine. So I'll be your Vanna White today, Lou. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? 28 uh, tool positions, high speed tool changing um, from position to position, uh, half second incredible, incredible performance on this machine. And what you can see inside the machine that we're highlighting is a DDRT. So FANUC's DDRT performance, again, incredible. High speed, very rigid, allows you to do uh, access both sides of the part and do the most you can. So when you have a part in the machine, our goal is to make that spindle run until you can get a good part out uh, and do that frequently with high quality. You know, Lou, a lot of these interviews, I have to ask follow-up questions, but I think you did such a good job. I could just move over here to Steve, right? You can. We're going to go over here. We're going to see something also equally important here for us. It's some five-axis processing of some larger parts for FANUC. Awesome. My buddy, Mr. Steve Baum, my brother from another mother. It's How good to you, see you. How are you, my friend? Always, Always good to good. see you, Tony. Always a pleasure talking with Lou for the audience watching. We're going to catch up with him again in just a minute, yep. I promise. But we're with Steve right now. We just went over a new machine, 28 tools. Yep. Very excited. Watch it flipping around. What are we looking at here, Steve? Tony, we got another really exciting uh, demo that we're doing on today. This machine is our medium-sized bed machine, but you'll notice the large part that we're machining inside this machine. Bigger than I normally see inside of a robo drill. Biggest part that we actually have been able to put in a robo drill wow. before. So what we're showing off is a new nick and table. Uh, the nick and table gave us the capacity to do large 200 by 500 millimeter parts, and we were able to utilize some of the new um, drilling and tapping features that are on the machine to help reduce cycle time. So remember what we always say is if you got to keep the spindle running, you got to reduce cycle time. That's how you'll make money. That's what we're showing here. Yeah, well, RoboDrill has been known for that for a long time. RoboDrill, I think, is in your DNA, certainly yeah. FANUC as well. Been I think you might even bleed but, yellow. Yeah. I'm not going to cut you, but I think we would see it <laughs> yeah. if that's what happened. Yep. RoboDrill spindles, they last forever. The way you guys construct these things, they last forever. There's sometimes conversations about cutting harder material, but it can do that too. Every time there's a doubt, it gets rewarded with a successful answer, and you guys keep doing that. Yeah, the, the reliability that FANUC has is what we're really known for. I mean, when you buy one, you'll buy another one because it doesn't cost you any money after you buy it. It just makes you money. As we walk over here and visit Lou, there's a saying here at, with RoboDrill is if it fits in a RoboDrill, cut it with a RoboDrill, right? There's proof of that right <laughs> there's there. There's proof of that right there. I'm tripping over someone's feet. I apologize for that. Lou, it's good to see you, my friend. Uh, but I think, actually, you guys are going to handle this I one. So. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. So what I, what I would like to say is Steve and I have a common, uh, a common thing. We share the excitement of the RoboDrill. Um, we bleed yellow and we love the RoboDrill. And if you're watching this machine and you don't get excited by what you can do, I mean, man, the chips are flying. We're moving a lot of material here and this machine is showing incredible capabilities. Steve, why don't you give them, a, give them an overview? Yeah, so a lot of people don't understand the capabilities of a 30 taper machine and when you when you've been running machines with larger tapers, you sometimes question whether a 30 taper will do the job. We set this demo up to show you how strong and how capable this machine is in not only cutting just aluminum parts, but certainly cutting steel parts. Some of these cutters like this right here, you can see the amount of chips. Some people think that's an aluminum part. We gotta remind them this is a steel part. You'll notice that the metal removal rates are incredible for this style of machine. 
and most people aren't used to seeing that. The other part of it is we're showing some unique capabilities of doing four axis machining with uh, TCP. So we're actually making a grooved part with a flat end mill using TCP. Unique application, people hadn't thought about it before, but we wanted to show the capability of the RoboDrill and some of the uniqueness that you have built into this control that allows you to do those things. Come on, Steve. I'm coming. We're gonna to go to our last machine here, but this is a this is a concept cell that we're showing some incredible technology that Fanuc has. Uh, not only, oh wait, wait a minute, we might want to bring oh, the host. I my microphone back, yeah. Steve? Go. Oh, yeah. I gotta say something before you go real quick for the audience watching. I am very happy you both love Fanuc, otherwise I'd be out of a job already. Yes. That's what happens when I take my mic, <laughs> they take my microphone from me. All right, Lou, we are on the last yes. cell here, Steve. Yes. Very well done, Thank by the way. Thank much. you for that. Yep. This looks like a lot of fun. This looks like a complete cell set up, ready to go. Actually very practical as well. Do you yes. want to describe it to the people yes. watching? Yeah, so really what we're highlighting here is really a common approach to doing all kinds of uh, uh, applications for customers. So we're highlighting a, uh, a material storage area where we're bringing in raw materials. We're bringing that in on an AMR. That AMR will come over to this uh, particular uh, CRX robot, which loads and unloads uh, finished parts and then also does a quality inspection. Then it returns to the other robot uh, that is doing a quick wash uh, over there on the, on the far side. And then when that is completed, uh, the robot does a quick uh, vision inspection and a polishing uh, to hand off to a customer. So uh, Fanuc uh, has been in the process of machining thousands of these here uh, today. Great giveaway. I mean, if you zoom in on this and you look at how cool this is, I mean, this is a this is quality giveaway here. So come into Fanuc and get your giveaway if you're if you're watching. Um, I do want to highlight one other thing, really, really, really cool. Uh, at Fanuc, although very difficult to see in there, um, we're doing some other unique things where we're using DDRs to actually hand parts off to each other inside the machine. And what that does is allow that spindle to access both sides of the part, hand it off, and keep that spindle moving. So no lost time in between loading and unloading of parts. So. It's, uh, it's about the most efficient way to process this particular part uh, that you could possibly do. And uh, like I said, we're, we're doing thousands of them here a day. Lou, you nailed it in the sense of load and unload time, right? I mean, we always talk about the efficiency of cycle time and multitasking and getting more done and keeping the spindle turning, but that load and unload time can be a killer sometimes. Okay. For everyone who's watching, you guys know Fanuc, you guys know Lou. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to find the reliable partners that matter. And Lou, can I keep this? You sure can. Absolutely amazing. Yes, you can. He did steal my microphone. I'm going to get it back. <laughs> no, no, Lou. You know I like having you on camera. Thank you all Thank for you watching. Guys. Appreciate if you've joined us today, manufacturing cannot manufacture more time. So if you spent some with us, thank you for doing so, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.